friends welcome to this short program on explaining more points going into giving you some minute details about the prashna kundli which we have been doing week on week and it has been getting a lot of momentum lot of callers are there they are wanting to ask a question and get their answers but you need to know how i answer the question which is not otherwise possible in the live session so i have just shot this video for you so that you understand what goes behind uh, when uh, someone asks a question first and foremost i would like to clarify you on the link problem that we had that to access the live stream program uh, youtube has been kind enough to alert us a permanent uh, link for live streaming when you click on the live streaming when the session is on you will be able to catch up with the live stream you will be able to join us even otherwise if you click it when the live stream is not on you will be directed to our channel that is you enlightenmind.com web uh, youtube channel so we are sorry last sunday there was a problem that is 30th may the youtube link got changed at the last second and we tried our best to reach out to people we did by broadcasting a message of the new link i hope we did not inconvenience you much and quite a few calls were there that means people have been able to log into that have been able to catch up with that link from now onwards there is no problem about the link and the permanent link of the live session live streaming session as well our channel is given in the description kindly follow that please bookmark save or pin it any way you like where you will be able to to uh, click the link at your uh, will and wish now what is important is how prashna kundli works see birth chart is nothing but our birth chart is nothing but a transit chart for the mother it's an event chart for the mother that is the event is the baby being born so that means to say our birth chart is comprising of an event basically an event in the life of the mother that is when when the birth time is recorded all the planetary positions as at that moment is taken now i hope you don't have any difference of opinion with me on this point this is a very important point to note that means it gives a that is the benchmark of the planetary position at the time of birth but in real life what happens is when we are confronted with a problem we want to we are tensed up with a, a particular subject or an issue and we want an answer prashna kundli is the saving factor i am not trying to defend the prashna kundli only in the birth chart has significance there is no doubt about it but when you have a specific question which is haunting your mind and which is causing lot of anxiety and tension the only answer is prashna kundli you ask a question whether you should shift to free from home a to home b yes there is, you cannot do that in the birth chart it's very very difficult it's a long way to go uh, to make a very deep analysis of it but even then you may not be able to get the answer for that but in prashna kundli i just shuffle the kauris whatever aruda lagna i get that lagna is highlighted by Uh, the red light the red red led light on the um, right hand bottom corner which you will see in the um, when the live stream is on and even now i am showing you giving you a demo of it what happens to that and with that as the reference i coordinate all other planets find out what is the significance or the influence of each and every planet on that aruda lagna which is highlighted by the lighting of the led red led likewise there are 12 zodiac signs as you all know and there are 12 leds when i get the when i first shuffle the kauris after deep prayer i shuffle the kauris and put it on the copper grid let us say two kauris are up the second sign of the zodiac is the indication that is taurus then i have a control switch i just press that number 2 there and that light uh, that red light uh, lights up so that is the procedure behind it and prashna kundli do kauris is something which anybody can shuffle i can only tell you very a, a very salient point involved in the whole issue that is after deep prayer what is prayer prayer is nothing but concentration of the mind to join our mind 
or to suppress our mind and go along with the, uh, the soul. The soul of each and every individual, every person is absolutely pure, but it's polluted because of the influence of the mind. Mind is the factor which bridges the soul and the body. So all our issues in life are connected with the mind only. So that means the astrologer have to have a very deep degree of concentration. And that concentration can come only by uh, practicing, strictly practicing certain spiritual practices like meditation. And, and thus the mind gets focused on the subject. When somebody somewhere in the country or anywhere else asks a question, gives only the name, you are all surprised to know how I just take the name only and answer the question. And that answer will be definitely valid. It has its own window, of time window and little here and there it will happen, it may not be exactly by the calendar date and the time, but it will happen. That is my experience also and that is what the feedback I get from everybody. And uh, shuffling the Kauris and Aruda Lagna is just a gift of God. We, I cannot say anything more than that. Please appreciate that point and that is why I have written there, it's a divine chart. It's a divine chart for your specific question and the answer will be comprehensive. It has lots of meaning, but one has to have the patience. Let's remember that. Friends, I'll give you a demo of how I do the Prashna Kundli and when you ask a question. When you ask a question, I have two things to do. One is, first of all, shuffle this cowries like this. Pray and shuffle the cowries like this and put it in the copper plate. Let's say I get one. It That means the first sign of the zodiac, that is Aries, that red light will be on. Supposing I get two, then Taurus, that is the second sign of the zodiac, that red light will be on. And all the planets as on date, Moon in Aries, in Taurus we have three planets, Rahu, retrograde Mercury, Sun, in Gemini we have Venus and in Cancer we have Mars, which has just moved on 3rd of 2nd of June. And in Libra, we have Mandi, an abstractive planet, which I will explain to you later on. Then in Scorpio, we have Ketu. And in Capricorn, there is retrograde Saturn. And in Aquarius, we have Jupiter. This is the planetary position as on date. Whenever anybody asking a question, supposing while shuffling the cowries, I get one. That means that is the first sign of the zodiac. That is where Mars is the lord of the first sign of the zodiac and moon is posited now. Likewise, supposing some for some question, question I get an ascendant, an Aruda Lagna as it is called as I have already explained to you, then, then the second light that is Taurus, that red light will be on. Likewise, it goes on. I hope I am clear to you. All the planets are represented on this copper plate by the respective gemstones which are used as a symbolic representation of the planets, otherwise gemstones have no meaning. And for you, on the right hand bottom corner what you are seeing there in the live session, that will be representing the ascendant or the Aruda Lagna for your question, that is a dedicated uh, Lagna for your question, not applicable to anybody else. The question, somebody else also may get the Aruda Lagna as the same, let us say Aries. But his question will be different, name will be different. These are the points, highlights of this. I wanted to give you a practical demo to what goes on and how I do the Prashna Kundli. Then I have certain points to mention regarding the do's and don'ts at the time of live streaming. I will just list out and that will come on the screen also. First, give the name of the person to whom the question pertains. Nothing else is required. Ask a very pointed question. Please don't attempt to give out your particulars regarding your location, etc. Since the program is being viewed in the public domain of YouTube and it is recorded there also. We want to safeguard your privacy and that is the main aim of it. So please don't have to identify 
you just ring up the number that is being displayed on the screen when the live streaming session is on. Just say the name of the person about whom you want to ask the question. You don't have to narrate the, your relationship with the individual in the event that you are asking on behalf of somebody else. You just say, yeah, question is about health, about education, about whatever point you have. I, because this is being recorded in the public domain, we, uh, we believe in uh, safeguarding the privacy of every individual who comes on board. It is essential that you mute the audio of other devices and maintain silence. This is something which you please cooperate, otherwise our system audio will be affected. What happens is, supposing you are viewing the YouTube, YouTube program on your laptop or desktop or whatever and making a call through the mobile phone and I am talking to you, I'm giving an answer, the, it's all get interlinked. The audio generated at your end gets fed back into our system. That feedback you get, you get a whistling sound. This is what we have observed. And also kindly maintain silence. It is very essential. When I am praying God, shuffling the cowries and answering a question, getting the Aruda Lagna, I need absolute silence. Kindly help me. Uh, with maintaining silence at, silence at your end and if there are other people you have switched on the speaker phone let's say if there is your close relatives I am not objecting to that but kindly maintain silence don't do any cross talk when the session is on you are welcome to view the live program using your earphone but mute the audio of all other devices in your in the vicinity to avoid audio feedback during the golden hour program you are welcome to ask a pointed question and get answer which has its unique values. I repeat, it has unique value. It's an actionable program that you can arrive at. It, that means actionable means depending on the guidance or the hint that I'm going to give you, you are able to act on that. That will lead you good results. Uh, your cooperation is very essential to carry on the program and get good answers for your own questions. And you have to cooperate, you please cooperate with us on these points. You are most welcome to spread the golden hour message to your friends, relatives, associates and anybody and everybody. We have no problem. We will answer questions put by anybody irrespective of any other relationship at all. Thank you. And hope to see you this coming Sunday on the 6th June at 11 a.m. And please follow the instructions given. And it will be our pleasure to serve you. Please cooperate on the points mentioned we have brought about.